Welcome back to the weird and wonderful world of Dad Gat Guitar and the basic chords that I'm trying to teach you guys with the best of my abilities and my uh, communicational skills. Um, today we are looking into the A chords. Again, I'm not going to go into any weird and wonderful world uh, jazzy chords here. We're going to keep it very, very straightforward. Uh, we're going to start with the A major chord. The easiest way, or one of the easiest ways, in the first position is just use your first finger to cover all four strings on the second fret um, the, of the first, second, third and fourth string. And then you put your little finger, or, or the next one, um, on the, on the um, second string, fourth fret. That becomes your main basic major chord. Um, turn it to minor. All you have to do is move that fourth, uh, second string, third fret, and that becomes your minor chord. Now, um, the reason why I usually uh, don't do it with a one finger trick here is because very often um, I use I use this trick. So what it, the difference is that I'm using three fingers instead of two. Um, so I have the middle finger here on the first string second fret and then I'm keeping it in minor now so um, second string third fret and then I use this thing the first finger to cover the two strings here uh, which which are the um, uh, the fourth string second fret and third string second fret you well, might ask me why I do that instead of the other one and well the reason is that I can go from here from um, a minor to A minor seventh pretty easily by just lifting um, the finger so that it only covers the fourth string second fret. It's not covering the uh, third string at all and it's ringing it as open because of minor seven chord. I was in major seven. Okay, there it was a bit, bit, just little finger. Um, so that's your first position. From here on, we go up. Some sweet music up here around about the seventh fret. So we've got first string seventh fret, fourth string seventh fret, and third string sixth fret. That's a major chord. Now, by sliding that third string sixth fret to the fifth fret, that's a minor chord straight away. Now there's a really cool seventh chord here as well. Um, which I use then, I use a first finger to press down on the fifth fret of both the fourth and third string and then uh, use these two fingers here at top to cover the um, seventh frets of the first and second string. So it's a pretty cool chord as well, I like that a lot, use it a lot. And mess around with it a lot. Um, then we can go more bass heavy again. We go back to the, the, the actual original chord that was in the last lesson, which was the G chord shape, and we move it up here. Um, now, because it's that guy, there's a lot of open A's here. You can you can loose, easily lose strings here, no problem. Thing. If you're playing a tune in a, a traditional Irish music, for example, uh, very often um, it's not um, a big problem to leave, for example, the high D open um, because the tune, especially if the tune is in, for example, D, uh, it's almost like a drone that keeps on playing behind behind the scenes. So, um, so don't worry about it too much. If it doesn't suit, then you just tampen it. That's what I've been saying. It's very important to know sometimes what not to play instead of what to play. And that's that A there. Um, I'll throw in one more A, a minor seven because I like them so much. Uh, that's one of my. I like that one a lot. So you put uh, 
first finger on the second fret of the first string, and then you put on the fifth frets of both the fourth and the third string. Those are some of A chords to get you started on that cut in a few different positions and get your hands moving around the neck. Stick around because next video is going to be really exciting because we're going into B chords. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you need any help with anything and I'll do my best to try to help you.